Hey everybody, it's Michael again with Late Night Astronomy. Right behind me is my finished image of Comet Atlas, but before we get to that, I wanted to take a second to just thank you all for the support you've shown to this channel. The subscriptions, the likes, but most importantly the comments and conversations are exactly what I hoped this channel would do. I want this to be a place where we can all be comfortable with talking about our observations and our images of what we see in the nighttime sky. And I really appreciate the community that's gathering and the support that's come out from you all for this channel. For today's video, we're going to take a look at the step-by-step -step process of what it took for me to capture, edit, and enhance this image of Comet Atlas. Let's take a look. The first step of this process is going to be proper polar alignment. You're going to want to make sure that you have a solid alignment to Polaris for whatever position it needs to be in the grid that's going to be in your finder scope. After you have polar alignment accomplished, you're going to move on to finding and framing your object. I frame it up using the Sky Safari app to show me exactly what it's going to look like in the field of view to try to give me an idea of artistically what the image will look like after I process it. Step four is going to be stacking and enhancing these images using programs like Deep Sky Stacker and PixInsight. This is going to bring out the faint detail of these images and is really going to make something like Comet Atlas, which is very dim right now, pop and show up in this otherwise dark image. I'm going to actually superimpose the final image that I took over the chunk of sky that it shows there. Let's zoom in even more to get more details on it. Now it's hard to see in this zoomed out image, but right down there is where Comet Atlas is. And it shows how small objects like this really are in the nighttime sky. Even if Comet Atlas ends up not being the show that we had hoped it would be, it still amazes me to know that this greenish blur in my image is a comet traveling through our solar system. If you've been able to observe or image Comet Atlas, please like this video and let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for your support and be sure to subscribe to Late Night Astronomy.